What is going on guys? Today we are looking at Inform Matoma. Currently at about 65, but it is brand new, so it will be interesting to see at the end what the price is. Pray and he goes up to 5 mil or something like that. Ah, whatever floats your boat. But he's 83 rated with a 4 star, 4 star, mostly explosive 510, Brighton left winger, and in terms of stats, he's a standard one. I can imagine he will go down at some point to very little value. He'd probably be a 30, 40k, maybe even lower, depending on the pack weight of him. But we have got 88 pace, 93 acceleration, decent dribbling, composure could do with some work. Shooting wise, again, we want to have a little bit more. I think people are going dead eye or basic with him, but the votes are very, very slim at the moment. In terms of the upgrade, we've got four on the pace, shooting, passing, as well as physical, and then three on the defending and dribbling. In terms of the chemistry style for the first one, it was Hunter, which I, I could see why, uh, I suppose why they wouldn't go Hunter again, just because you would max out your acceleration, which would give you a, a minus two of what actually is left over. But you'd end up with 95 pace, 83 shooting. So it's an argument. Deadeye, though, would give you a bit more on the passing. So you'd have 85 shooting, 84 passing. So I think that is the one that we're going to go for. We've got... We've got any more playstyle. I'm waiting to see if they add playstyles to these as well. So we had four before, and he's got them again this time round. So he's got technical, finesse shot, quick step, and traveller. So let's jump in, see what Matoma can do. FC24 is here, and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give, as well as coaching, and also the big one everybody wants in FC24 coins. The service is fast and reliable, and you will get your coins, your boosting services, or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these, make sure you head over to SkyCoach. Dot gg go onto the website and when you go to checkout make sure that you are using the code jt11 at checkout for your five percent off your orders and if you'd prefer to do this on mobile check out the screen right now with the qr code for their mobile app into him straight away then let's see what this guy can do what was the skill moves four star four star which is always nice it's exactly what we want always oh, keeping with him though let's see what we've got in terms of dribbling going with a controlled into a Ah, oh, into a ball. I was hoping we'd have already been past him. Dumfries is going to be the guy that he's going against right now. And this guy is running through like he's crazy. Find him back on this wing then. I want to see the technical dribbling. If we can. There we go. Fake him back round. He's, he's well equipped. Lovely. Can we get a rainbow flick? I see every time I do that, it, it does work. But then every time I want to do it, if I don't do it randomly, it will always work for some reason. I've had a couple of goals from there. I knew that one most definitely wouldn't. <laughs> Little one-two with Jota. Getting past Dumfries. Getting past Dumfries. He's going to come across. Ah, Bremer. Back out wide. Looking for the one-two with him with Jota as well. You know, it's full well. We're looking for him if we can. He, oh, it's gone to Jesus instead. Can you get past Dumfries? <laughs> Lovely. Gets past him this time. This Oh, jeez. This this is what I mean. The defenders really on point with their recovery, most definitely. That's the interesting side. Can we go with a little bit of skill? We found ourselves in the middle, but there is an absolute cluster of people. Try and fake him out if we can. We've got to try and get this round now. He's, he's, done, he's done all bits. Looking for that one-two if we can. There it is. Gives him a bit of space. Opens up the left foot. It's a very weird save from Mignan there. Normally, he catches quite a lot. Matoma holding off Dumfries this time. Little bit of skill. Finds the inside. That's got to be the goal. And finally, the cut-in has worked. Managing to get the first one. You just sometimes got to force it. Just not too much. I think as well, with these informs, they I know they're not necessarily going to go into this evolutions, but there is some informs that, that can go into evolutions as well. The only thing I will say when it comes to them is you do not have the tradableness if they are tradable. They will become untradable. So make sure if you are putting them in that you are willing to, to give up the 10k for them if they are tradable. Just, just as an extra, Matoma I don't think fits into any of them being 83. If he was 80, he most definitely would do. But that could be a future move when we do get more of the uh, evolutions. So it's always something to look out with with these kind of cards. Because it would be really nice to see an 83 Matoma that could potentially go into the 86. Sitting really wide. I don't think on my custom tactics I've got him this wide, to be honest. 
Looking for that. Oh, it's a great tackle from Bremer. Lovely ball. He's still really wide. Can we get a little bit of a whip in there? Oh, he's gone for the... Oh! Mignan's had an absolute stinker. How on earth did that go in? But that's a cracking cross. I don't know why he didn't go with his left. But he gets the rage quit, I believe. How on earth did he do that? Matoma's looking for that back post magic if he can. Oh, what on earth? He's kind of like drilled it across. I wanted a little loop and it would have been perfect. Matoma really wide here. Going for the inside if we can. Get a little bit of speed on him. Double round everybody. Ah, should have went for the control on that second touch. There he is. Get the chest. Volley. Okay, should have took a free kick. Matoma with the ball through. Looking for the one-two if he can. There it is. Oh, there it is. Good ball through. Finds another good ball through. Jota. Jota. Oh, he's not. He's not even. <laughs> I was kind of hoping he'd drop off seeing that the man there, but he, he completely went through with it. Fair play. Matoma takes it away. Does a great ball roll into Ansu. Oh, he's not going to have enough pace, is he? Oh, he might. He's dropped off. He's dropped off. Left foot across goal. It's, it's a very hard one, unfortunately. It's a great ball from Matoma, but Ansu just didn't have the legs to go all the way there. Into him again. Looking for a little bit of 1-2 magic from him. Little one more if we can. Inside the box. Pulls it back. Gotta be a good save from Summer this time. Oh, <laughs> but Dembele. Little one, two. Oh, I, I should have I hesitated there to get that ball. Look, look for the fake if we can. Nobody's falling for the fake whatsoever. And they're all running straight. If I could just get that little turn, honestly, we'd be absolutely golden with this. Bit of pace from Matoma. Strength battle, though. Trent really shouldn't be taking him at all there. Matoma! There we go. Dembele, all the hard work. Matoma with the glory. Oh, lovely. And one more. Oh, referee, have a word. So going into the overall for Matoma then. He's currently coming in at a whopping 61.5, which is actually mine. It was about 63, which has held his price quite well. Normally we see a big dip, then it kind of goes up again over the night, and then it dips again. But with the fact that we've not actually got the full game out yet, I don't know how the market would react to it. With, obviously, all of the other Team of the Weeks, they are kind of very similar in, in certain prices. Son looks like he's gone up a little bit. I think Kane's chilling around the same. Same with Conte. I think he dropped a little bit. And Trippier is absolutely in the mud. Cancelo is the same price as well. So let me know down below if there's any other Team of the Weeks you'd like to see. And I will start playing through a few of them. I think he did well. He's not necessarily going to be insane crazy good but i think for a, a kind of a prem winger especially an informed jobby which more than likely will drop a lot more with this price because as we have got everybody coming friday all the packs or at least their packs will be open on the friday meaning he should drop down quite quickly because he isn't necessarily like we say he's not the highest one you've got 91 88 you've got an 84 87 85 87 86 so he's he's in the amongst of the ones that are obtainable from a pack and most definitely, if you get him untradeable, I'd be very happy. In terms of the upgrade from his normal gold, I think it's a solid upgrade. I think with the fact that Team of the Weeks are all above 80 this year, it makes it interesting for these lower rated cards, especially if you get like a 75. Getting his first upgrade or his first inform is jumping up five overalls as a minimum. I think that is a really big dub as we go through, but... I can't see Team of the Week lasting longer than what it should do anyway. It will depend on other promos and what the upgrades are like. As we saw, there's no playstyle differences. We haven't got a weak foot or skill move increase either. So we can see that the stats are pretty standard across the board. It will be when he gets a second, a third, a fourth, a player of the month upgrade. The way we can really see the difference in getting a triple upgrade on the very first inform. But a nice card. Definitely worth a look at if you do manage to get him for quite cheap. And if you do get him untradeable, depending on your wingers, I think he definitely could do a job. In terms of Prem... We've got, who have we got? We've got Son, obviously. We've got a few heroes that we'll get rid of. Foden was someone who was uh, using against. And to be honest, I felt like Matoma was better, in my opinion. Grealish is a little bit slower. Rashford's a striker, in my eyes. Diaby can play left mid, which is definitely a scary one with crazy pace. Same with Diaz. So 
you're kind of battling against them really more than anything. It will be your Martinellas, your Diabas, your Diazes that really put up the, the challenge against him. But if he is cheaper, if he does drop down to complete discard, discard price. I don't know what Team 1 was like. If we get, so if we have like even 85s at 28, 72. So they have held their price. I know this one's a hard one because even though we did have packs, it felt like everybody wasn't necessarily getting informs yet. But in terms of Matoma, I think he's a, a decent dub. There's definitely better, but there's also definitely worse. So let me know down below what you think about him. Make sure you do like and subscribe. And I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.